everybody and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here hi my name is pamela and i make content on all different things including horticulture horticulture hair bags in my life so if you're interested don't forget to subscribe but before i get into this video i just want to say don't forget to enter my giveaway to win this philodendron because who wouldn't want to win if you're philodendron all you got to do is be subscribed to my channel and for bonus entries just follow my two social medias all of them will be linked down below and my cat is stealing my ice so yeah but on today's video i am doing an update in regards to the worm floating living crawling situation inside of the syngonium so if you're interested in seeing what i'm gonna do to just tackle the whole infestation then keep on watching <laughs> consensus you know from what everyone has been telling me it looks like I have millipedes inside of this plant let me just zoom you guys in a little bit okay so I have millipedes inside of this plant so this is just a cover pot for it and um, before I get more into the video cuz I'm gonna pan you down um, after finding out that uh, I basically have millipedes living in this, my cat just loves to eat plastic. I I'm going to just repot this, give this fresh clean soil, like change out all of the soil in this, and instead of just like tossing out the dirt, I'm going to actually just like release the soil in the park. Um, yeah. I don't see the need to kill innocent millipedes because they are not just like what is that word you know just like they're not like a virus sort of insects they're healthy little hit insects that just ended up crawling inside of this pot at the nursery um so yeah I'm going to pan you guys down now all right so um, this is just another pot that I have. I'm going to transfer this, uh, this plant into this pot and I'm actually just going to clean and sanitize this and save it for maybe another repotting of another sort of plant. So I'm going to put this to the side for now. So I have a plastic, uh, bag to just line this box as I, can you see these millipedes right here? see this I personally don't care to have these crawling around in my um, anywhere so yeah I'm just gonna change out this entire soil and it's also good that I'm doing this because there is a bit of just crowding Yeah, as you can see, this might start to experience a bit of root rot. You see these brown roots that when I pull on them are kind of fibrousy. These are not. These are a bit healthier, but I'm going to just give this all new soil. And I'm also going to um, give it new soil and just flush out the roots um, for any, just in case there's any like larva because this is a large infestation, honestly. Yeah, 
these roots are so trying to just like not disturb as many roots as I can because this is a serious root ball but as you guys can see the roots aren't white and healthy so millipedes are not dangerous I've come to find out for your plants they're just you know slightly little insects but they're completely harmless you know in justifiable numbers if you're having like thousands and hundreds then you know maybe it's an infestation but what I had was just you know a little colony so all of this I'm gonna have to like rinse out too So like I said, all of this soil with any little millipedes that's in it is going to go outside um, because, again, there's no need to kill more than the few that I killed that day that I originally posted this, um, the first part of this video, which I will definitely link somewhere here. So I think I've done the best I can with um, just removing as much soil uh, by hand. So I'm actually just going to head downstairs to the basement to give this a even better flush. So um, I'll see you guys down there. Okay, so I'm back. Syngonium has been rinsed out to the best of my ability. If honestly I stripped this plant anymore, I would have been arrested for um, you know, inappropriate. <laughs> like, I don't know, whatever, anyways. Um, so yeah, so I've uh, put the... What are these things called? I 
I put the millipedes um, in the outdoor soil and I flushed this plant a billion times honestly so now what I'm gonna do is just create my own just like potting mix so first um, I'll put I'll link down below uh, the soil and potty mix that I'm using but I guess to mix it I'm just gonna use I'm use this here I kind of want a well draining soil mix so Um, one, I'm going to use the same pot. I've just come to agree that I don't need to use a whole different pot. Go ahead, ma'am. Okay, so before I start, I'm going to use a used dryer sheet, and I'm just going to like stretch it out a little. I only am doing this because I don't want all the soil seeping through the bottom, honestly. I have no time for that right now. So I'm just going to just stretch it out. And this is completely safe. For your plants, you won't get root rot or anything like that. I'm just using it kind of like a sift a sieve, so large particles just stay where I need them to stay. my soil I'm gonna do a bit of just like coarse orchid mix like a handful like that as you can see Okay, so I'm not going to water this today. I am actually gonna water this plant, 
uh, in about two days or so. One, I just want to ensure that um, the roots that I pretty much just drowned are okay. And secondly, I just want to ensure that the soil and the roots can dry just in case um, by some sort of miracle there are any more sent uh, millipedes inside of this or millipede larvae um honestly if there's any larvae that i did not aggressively flush out then they deserve to live in here and i will not bother any centipedes in the forecoming weeks and months that choose to live in here because it was one hell of a just task to rinse this out honestly this thing it's just well it has just a well amazing root foundation and like I said whatever is in there deserves to be in there if it so happened there is anything in there and if not then yay thumbs up but I just want to say also thank you to everyone who commented on my video commented on my Instagram photos in regards to this plant issue this is what basically this YouTube community is the social media community is it's about everyone helping one another out and advising on things that they're knowledgeable and you know vice versa so thank you again to everyone that gave me some advice on one what they thought this uh, infestation was and secondly what I can do to help cure um, and I put it in quotations because I'm not sure if this is 100% um, uh, the, the infestation is 100% um, gone let me actually think of the face but yeah Ooh, so much be a bitch But yeah guys, so like I was saying, um, so yeah, so whatever this infestation is was and I agree with everyone I thought it was like millipedes and it is millipedes it was millipedes and thank god they're like harmless and I got rid of it So like whatever this sort of infestation was, I got rid of it, thank goodness. And now, hopefully this plant and I live happily ever after. I was pretty rough with the watering and the rinsing. Um, I just wanted to ensure that everything was out that didn't get out that I couldn't save because I transferred the soil and the millipedes outdoors because like I said earlier, I don't see any need to kill any more innocent, welcome to New York, any more innocent just like bugs that <laughs> are not pests. Um, oh, but yeah guys, so Lola and I just want to say thank you so much for watching our video featuring this Syngonium Arrowhead Podophyllum. Um, I think I'm actually going to do... A video of my Syngonium collection because I think I have a pretty nice little collection um, I think Syngoniums or my dumb cane were the first plants I started growing actually the dumb cane was my first plant my Syngonium was the second plant that I've owned and like have been growing 
for some time. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you aren't already. Join this little cookie family because we're pretty awesome over here. And share this video if you enjoyed it, if it was some sort of educational or entertaining or you learned anything from it. Don't forget to share it and like it. Um, and comment down below. Um, do you have syngoniums? What are your favorite syngoniums? If you have, or in general, what are your favorite plants that you own? And don't forget to enter my giveaway for this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful um, philodendron. And again, like I said, all the info will be linked down below. But all you have to do is just be subscribed to this channel and also just follow my two other social medias. But check out that video. It has exact details of what needs to be done. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. Thank you.